For the mothers of Gaza, the daily struggle is especially tough. <laughs> to raise children, to keep them safe in a place that is notoriously dangerous, and to keep them fed. Um Jamil Loh, a mother of four, relies on overseas help to put food on the table. That help is being withdrawn. I definitely think of how to feed these four children. As you can see, they are children, and they don't understand the reasons of the lack of food. We can't survive without it. Close to two million Palestinians depend on food aid. Years of instability and the rising cost of living increase the threat of more people going hungry. Aid agencies rely on donor funding, and for Gaza, funding has been drying up. Right now, there is enormous pressure uh, globally on aid budgets uh, and aid allocations. Uh, it's certainly the case here in Gaza. We share the food uh, caseload, uh, the food program work with World Food Program. They have already announced that they are cutting back their programming. The World Food Program shutting down here next month. Other UN agencies are also cutting back. In Gaza alone, around 400,000 people could lose vital food supplies, threatening a humanitarian crisis. We talk about 100,000 families in Gaza in need of food support, and the cut has reached approximately 20,000 families. However, we are waiting for the approval of more names in the future. From Jamil Loh and her children, going hungry is already a reality. The people of Gaza persist against all the odds, surviving on the bare minimum food aid provided. This essential lifeline, however, is now on the brink. Samadwan, Al Jazeera, Gaza.